Will this be the path to gold today? We'll know in an hour or two or three. Mumbles man's already here. I kind of overslept. Crack of dawn got me yesterday. Recovery. Stand by. Mumbles man's digging. All right, good drop off looks like. Now it's not as low as it's supposed to be. But the tide ain't low for two, for an hour and a half, I think. Water's nice and clear. No damn waves. I like it. That's old Bowser. I'm working in and out. I dug a quarter right there. I got an eight right here. Whatever eight is. Well, I can tell it's not a knockout gold ring. But it is a piece of copper. Got a knockout O2. First scoop too. Look at that mud. Man, that's a good sign. That's another good sign. Look at that pull tab. Ring neck. That's an old baby right there. Okay. How you making out, Mama's man? I don't have nothing really. I just dug a pull tab right here. There's mud down here. You ain't kidding. And a foot away from the pull tab, it says I got a quarter. Or a dime, I can't tell. I must have leave this thing on. We got it too. First scoop. There's a key. Look at that. That's another good sign. This might be a good spot today. Two ounce gray matter. And I got a 21 here. First scoop. I like first scoops. I like that a lot. This looks like crap oak. If that's the target, I might have to go back in the hole and check it. That don't look like anything that can make any noise. Let's try that again. I don't hear anything in the hole. Whatever it was, it was in that pile. I was just laying here on the sand right now by me. Because we got it. Oh, I must have missed it. That's the 21 right there. 29. I thought it was a penny. Can opener. A knockout 05. Not on the first scoop. Got it. Second scoop. 
05. I see nothing. I see nothing at all, 05. I guess it must still be in the hole. Come out of there, Tiquito. What's the matter with you? I hear something rattling down there. That's rocks I hear rattling. I might have it. I ain't sure. That's the only thing it looks like something. Back end of a spoon or something. Let's see if that's five or not. Yep, that's it. Whatever that is. Looks like the back end of a spoon, doesn't it? Maybe the spoon is in there. But I didn't hear anything else. Maybe I do. Let's try it again. I hear another little squeaky noise in the hole. We got some more of it. But I'm still at loss of what it is. But that's where it broke off from. I don't think there's any more sounds in the hole. Nope. That was it. Okay, onward. About three feet away, we got a 27. Says we got it too on the first scoop of. Oh, it's a big old brass wood screw. Look at that ticket. That's a good sign. Knockout five again. A knockout 1205. We got it on the first scoop of. Not very deep today. Ring in the scoop. Ring in the scoop. Looks like stainless steel to me. But it don't have to be. It's black inside. It says something. No! Cobalt. My first cobalt ring of this year. We don't find many cobalt ones. This is only like the third one I ever found. Perfect fit. Cobalt. You can see this uh, screen deep zone seems to be the best targets. Right here we got a knockout 30. That may be a piece of gray matter. I'm, I'm not complaining, I like gray matter. Especially when it's on the first scoop, not very deep. And it is a gray matter. Another two ounce gray matter. We're out a little deeper, about a 43. Should be a dime, right? And it is a dime. That's a number two dime. I found a dime, a dime up in the damp sand a minute ago. This one's in better shape. It's just a clad dime, though. Got a knockout 26. Another key. I like it. Five feet away, we got a 12. Twelve appears to be a penny. I mean a cruddy one too, buddy. Look at that baby. <laughs> Solid O2. Is it going to be copper? Might as well be. Ha! 
<laughs> a can bottom or a can top, some kind of can. God, I don't like that ticket. That's the first bad ticket we got. Uh oh, we got another hit right here. Loud. 41. 41. Come out of there, baby. Don't be too deep. That one little scoopy. That's right. One little scoopy. That's the way I like it. Another dime, but it's dark. It may be a may be a mercury dime. I mean, it may be a silver dime. No, it's a rosy. I can't tell if it's good or not. I think it's clad. Looks like it. Yeah, well, I can almost see a date on it. Get the sun just right. I can't make it up. Don't make no difference. 18. Eighteen. I see nothing. Absolute well, let me let me rephrase that question. I found something. But it don't look like it should be eighteen. That's it, but I don't think that's it. No, that's not it. I don't see any 18s. That's not it. I get a little peep still in the hole. Maybe it's in there. Stand by a minute.
know how long this has been on, but I'm gonna leave it on. This is a 12.07 right here. Sounds pretty interesting, too. 12.07. A plastic bag. I don't see no 1207. I don't see any kind of service. I don't see anything but little teeny rocks. Oh, I see it hiding. I found it. First, all I could see was this. Then I turn it over, looks like a pull tab stuck in there. Well, 14. Well, yeah, second nickel of the day. First one was 13. Nineteen seventy-nine. You need to move out deeper. Huh? You need to move out deeper. Deeper? Yep. Plenty of targets out there. What are you getting? Looks like a ticket to me. Fourteen K, I can see that. See if it'll fit on my finger. I'm right up to my neck, right up to my neck in the water. That's where the tickets are. I got a cookie coin. Oh, it's a damn penny. I thought it was a nice coin. Uh oh, there it goes. Stand by. A paddle, foot-powered something with a sail on it. He's cooking right along. Look at him. Look at that ticket. Oh, damn. I don't do many selfies, but I just want to show you where the best of it is. Right up to your neck today. You can't see it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a little yellow area right there. That's a little bit of the outer bar. I'm working in a little slough right in through the middle. There's the beach. And that's right, right up to... Uh-oh, we got a nice hit here. O2. I don't, I don't know if I like O2 or not. Stand by, let's see what that is. <laughs> O2 is a big piece of copper wire. Now, here's the number three reason I got rid of the Knox. You can't even see my screen. It's, it's deep, about a foot under the water. But sometimes, that's where you end up at, you know? It's just like today. That's where everything is in the deep part of the bay. 
And I don't think the knocks until they get the leakage issue resolved will stand up in this kind of environment. And especially if you was at the ocean front with the waves crashing on it. I liked it, don't get me wrong. And I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna buy another one. But if I do buy another one, it, it'll probably be the 600. I think it's just more practical. But you can see, man, this is a nice hit right here. You can't hit. It was a nice hit if you like crap. Tsunami! <laughs> Where the hell did that go from? And another one, look at him. Where the heck did they come from? <laughs> I know one thing is wrecking havoc on the beach, people. They're running like crazy, washing all their stuff away. Weird, that's weird right there. That's as weird as I ever seen it. All of a sudden from nowhere. Slick calm day. And it's steady rolling in here. That comes a great big one. Look at that one. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before. This guy's gonna give one a try on his board. And there's another big one coming in. One's breaking right over there. There's another one breaking behind that one. Don't ask me. I've never seen anything like it. on my shoulder. My pouch is full. I can't hardly tote it. It was a good day on the bay. My buddy, the mumbles man, Mr. Denny, he's he's mumbling terrible. I mean everybody's finding rings all around him every day. He ain't, he's on a worst drought of his young tech detecting career. I mean, he's got it as bad right now as anybody I know. He'd be a nervous breakdown any day. He needs, he needs a goal fix bad. You know how it happens to you sometimes. Now, I don't think he ever thought it was going to happen to him. Because he gave us all the mumbles you know, many, many days in a row. However, the tables are turned around now. Douglas, Dick, a lot of the guys are finding lots of rings. And the Mumbles man is, I think, going on two months without a gold taquito. So hopefully tomorrow he'll get over it and find a piece of yellow and he'd be happy again. But he's fretting bad right now. I feel sorry for him. But I've lived it, and I guess most everybody has. 
it just happens. You're trying to find something that just goes on your finger and you just don't swing over it every day when you think you're supposed to. So you get the mumbles. Okay, I'll see you. Well, here's a roundup. Gray matter. Four dimes, three nickels, two quarters, four meager pennies, one imperial pocket knife, one cobalt, one 14K, two keys, and whatever that was. There's a video of finding both pieces. It looks like it's part of a spoon, maybe, or a fork or top. I don't know. This was a really good sound here. Man, I thought I had a big fat gold ring when I heard that. It started digging it up. Got some brass screws. Some nice crap. Battery. It was a good spin today. Plenty of exercise, plenty of tickets, and some cool stuff. That's all. I'll see you tomorrow. Same. I'm not sure we're going back to the same spot. I think we're going, but we're going to go east further. But we very well could end up right here. I'll get back to you. I got something I want to show you in a minute anyway. That's the th number three reason why I don't own a CT, I mean, a Equinox. This is the fourth one I know of. Dig everything. Leak. I guarantee it won't hold up where I was today in that deep water for any period of time. At least that's my thoughts. Now, where the leak is coming from, only my lab knows that and they ain't telling anybody. Because mine's been gone and another one's been gone, so they, they know. But how do you fix it? But I don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs>